back at the Shred House. We got another build breakdown for you. Really badass, really old school Cressida with a nice motor in it. What's up, boys? Uh, How you guys liking Oregon so far? Beautiful weather. It's always nice uh, coming here. I know you like it. You don't got to tell us you like we it. We know why. It's got lots of trees. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Obviously. And a green car. There you go. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Introduce yourself to the cam. I'm Justin Lucas, and I built a 1979 Toyota Cressler. 1979? Yes, technically. Why, why a 79 Cressler? I saw one a long time ago on an old forum GZX project, and I kind of put it on my radar a long time ago. And then one of these came up for sale, or for trade actually, a guy wanted just a running car. And I had a running car, a GS300 original. Yeah. And then you traded that for this? For a second gen GS? First. First gen GS. At the time I was restoring a 280Z, got that running as a daily, and immediately started on this to try to make it to the first final ballot special stage west. Yeah, I remember that. And I made it for like a lap. Because <laughs> it's least, been an uphill battle ever since. I didn't get a single lap. So. <laughs> <laughs> Life. Yeah, no, we, I understand the game. What are you rocking in this thing? It's got a Lexus 1U ZFE in it. And everything inside the car isn't shiny. Oh, I thought it was going to be a weird uh, Jag. <laughs> it's a Jaguar motor. Yeah. But stock what? motor, backed by a uh, R154. <laughs> Look at all the dishes. You said R154? R154. I don't know if people put R154s on these. It's got a fabricated A86 uh, front cross member. What? Into it. Converted to rack and pinion, R54, Ford 7.5 inch drive line that I narrowed, and my blow up to Day. You we'll narrow, why'd you narrow it? It was way too long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I screwed up. I made it too narrow. So uh, I'm running four inches where this goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, measure twice, cut once. Yeah, something like that. Science. And still get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you said this is just bone stock and bone yeah, stock motor? Yeah, bone stock. I made headers for it because it has to get past the, the column and everything. Oh, uh, so you custom made headers. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll get to that later on camera, but I heard it. And I've never heard of one you see quite sound like this. I'm ready. It might be the drive line I'm using for an exhaust. The drive line? Drive line tubing, yeah. <laughs> so, serious? Drive line tubing. A drive shaft? Excessive mixed drive lines, and we had some drive line tubing laying around. I didn't have any piping, so I, my friend made an exhaust out of drive line tubing and just put some cheap chambered muffler on the back of it. That's awesome. It it's does gonna have... take a long time to rust through because it's super thick. <laughs> <laughs> You're born to be a scumbag. You fit right in with us. And then I see you got some BCs on here, but I'm yeah, curious yeah. about oh, the, the about these. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible welding. That's my welding. So it's X8 front suspension, Jordan arms, X7 coilovers fitted to them. MX-7 in the rear. MX-73? Uh, MX-73, the 80s model. Cressida. Right. That's uh, Chris Miller, Gorilla, Circle Jerks, second place world champion. <laughs> the scores are final. Right. The second place world champion remains the second place world champion. Always second place. Yeah. Always second place. <laughs> Management, it's a Link Adam ECU, and that's because I blew up three factory ECUs trying to get this thing to run originally. I had a bad alternator from the local auto, auto parts store, mm. and I only found it out after going Link because we were on the dyno and I saw sparks just shoot out of the engine bay, Whoa. and the car shut off. But the ECU shut off at 18 volts, so it saved itself. Is this front splitter stock? or A friend of mine uh, imported that for me, and then it didn't fit. So I think it's for like a Ken Marie Skyline, like a 70 oh, Skyline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ended up putting fiberglass on it to kind of mold it to the body. And then at Pat's Acres, I think I went over the rumble strip too much. So that's where that crack came from. That crack is right along where I added material. <laughs> and the whole front end shifted by like an inch and a half. Oh. Shut the Just from, I mean, it's... <laughs> wow. That's good though. That means you can hit things and it just does a little flex, you know? It shimmies and goes Yeah, down. yeah. What are we looking wow. at for wheels here? It's, a, it's American Eagle Racing Alloys. I think it's MSR. They're a true two piece. They make any width up to nine inches wide, any bolt pattern you want. Really? Ordered, and they're out of California. Ameri American Eagle Alloy. American Eagle Alloy. They look great. I've tacoed them and put them back with a sledgehammer. Nice. Sick. That's how you know you got a good wheel. Exactly. 
So what about suspension arms? Um, you said A86 everything up Pretty there? Pretty much. I mean, A86 crossmember power steering rack. Arms are all X8, MX83 stuff. Right. From excessive manufacturing, so it's all Heims, big old box, big old tubing, everything. Let's see if I can. I had to make a few things like the tension rod and whatnot. I made full length for it. You put your time in this car. Oh yeah, and anything that goes wrong with it, I know it's my fault. <laughs> What's your favorite part about this car? The fact that I finally got it running right. <laughs> Actually, that and the power windows. Oh! oh you got power windows too? Oh. Should honestly don't play, no. all right? That's insane. Can I ask a question? Yes. Why is there a printout of a TV in your console? Because I wanted to put one in there and it wouldn't fit. You're just living the dream, however you got to do it. It's a touch screen, go ahead and try. <laughs> this, this is a dope car, man. It's I like the smells too. Your control panel there looks nice. I, I did everything on this thing except the wiring. Is the wiring panic? Yeah, wiring is panic wire. Of course. What else are we working with? Anything cool back here? This, it's just a good looking car. It is a great car. Yeah. One thing I do like about this car is it's I'm kind of using it to let my freak flag fly, fly as far as stickers, lights, just have fun. Have fun. Oh yeah, I so see you got I've some. I've always like clean cars, but. You got I'm some strobies. Like, Gold Star, Front Street, Destroy. You got all the, you got all the boys on there. He Bloom, dang, I haven't seen their sticker in a minute. That's Canada. Doo Doo Logic, Quino Bell, Kid's Heart. You got all the boys. Fulfilling all the dreams, huh? Yep. Anything else you want to tell us or you're just ready to party, huh? I'm just ready to drive. <laughs> That's that tough. Amazing. That is tough. Yo. That, awesome. that does not sound like a 1UZ. No. That's one, one hell of a dustbuster right Man. there. Good sir, very nice work. Thank you. This car is beautiful. It sounds beautiful. Now I want to see your dance. Alright. Let's dance. Let's go have some fun. He did it. You did it. You did it. That, that, that. Look at his face. He's covered in stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Yo, this car is, I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Amazing. And the best part, he's going to drive it home. Grassroots to the fullest. That dude is, oh, Oregon man. rules, bro. This is a street car. Daily. Oh. Wow. I'm out of breath because <laughs> that was too exciting. Thank you for showing us that you know how to wheel. Super important. No, the most important. Absolutely the most important. <laughs> now we got to see if you can wrap it. Grab it? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Get 
ready. <laughs> That's a wrap! <laughs>